artists. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to create a jellyfish. And so today what I'm going to have you do is uh, you're going to choose a color paper. And first what we always do when we get a new paper is we are going to put our name and our class code on the back with pencil. And so this first part, I want you to draw in pencil. So make sure your paper is the horizontal way, not the vertical way. So turn your paper the horizontal way. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a really big rainbow line. So I'm going to go all the way across the paper. So I'm going to start over here, and then I'm going to go up and then back down, kind of like that. And that's going to be kind of like the head of the jellyfish. Now, for the bottom of the jellyfish, we're going to do kind of a wavy line. So I'm going to make a wave. Not really bumpy, just a little bit bumpy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. So use your strategies. Do the best you can on cutting it out. All right, now that we have the head of the jellyfish, we're going to give our jellyfish some expression, some uh, emotion to it. So I'm going to give you a half sheet of paper. It's scrap paper, so there's stuff on the back. Please use the clean side for this. So we're going to make some jellyfish eyes. You can make your eyes however you want to make it. I think I'm going to give my jellyfish, like, some nice big big cute eyeballs, but you can do your jellyfish however you want to. And for coloring in the eyes, you can use whatever color. It doesn't have to be black, but I'm going to color mine in with blue, but you can outline and color with whatever color you want. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to glue them on with a glue stick. So now it's time for some more expression. So keep your half sheet of paper and um, think about what types of, like what type of mouth you want to give it. If you want to give your jellyfish a nose, eyebrows, mustache, that is up to you. So I like to keep the scrap paper because I like to practice the mouth that I'm doing. I'm not going to cut this out and put it on. I'm going to draw this on. But I'm just going to kind of practice so maybe like if my jellyfish wants to feel or, or feel sick, oh, maybe I'll make like a wavy mouth, kind of like that. If my jellyfish wants to feel happy, I'll make some lines kind of like that. If my jellyfish is surprised, maybe I'll make, I know that looks like a nose right there, but maybe I'll make a mouth like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So you can do it in whatever color you want. I'm going to make my jellyfish mouth like he just got surprised. Oh, boy. Color that in. And if you want any eyebrows or anything else, do what you got to do for that. So now it's time for the tentacles of the jellyfish. And over at a table, what I have is I have some uh, tissue paper that I cut into strips. And so just get like kind of like a handful. You can always get more or take back if you have too much. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip Mr. Jellyfish over or Mrs. Jellyfish, whatever, whatever kind of jellyfish you want to make. I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to glue them down one at a time. So I don't want to make a whole line of glue at first because what's going to happen then is the glue stick is going to dry before you get to the end and then your tentacles won't stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an area at a time. So like I'll put a hefty uh, dot or I don't know, like a roll of uh, glue stick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my strips and I'm going to push them in with my finger. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end of the jellyfish or at the end of my glue dot, I should say. And so use the colors you want. Take your time. Make it look real nice. And then when you're done with an area, put some more glue stick down and then repeat the process. All 
All right, so I have those pressed down. Very excited to see what the front looks like. Oh, so cool. Nice, nice, nice. And then at the end, if you, when you're all done, this is an optional step of what you can do. So what you can do is you can take a hole puncher and I'm going to punch a hole in the top of my jellyfish and I'm going to take some string, get that off just like that. And then I'm going to put it through the hole. And if you need help tying, that's totally fine. But I'm just going to tie it right here. If you know how to tie and you know how to help other people, that would be great. I'll tie it right here. And then I have my dangling jellyfish. And you guys can take these home today. All right. Thanks for watching.